It's been a big week for Venice-based Snap Inc. The company's shares rose 44% on their first day of trading. However, not everyone in Venice was celebrating. Protesters said there was more to it than them just wanting Snap to disappear from Venice. Many gathered outside Snap headquarters in hope of leaving a lasting message. They're upset about the way they've sort of taken over our buildings and our, our buildings that used to be apartments and residences and they have the, all the offices closed off, you can't see them, it's all very secret and, and uh, there's guards standing out front and shooing you off of their sidewalks as if they are their sidewalks, they're not, they're the public. Saving Venice from turning into a corporate campus. What we're trying to do is keep Venice a community. A SNAP spokesperson told Yo Venice the company has the same goal, saying, we don't just have our headquarters here, many of us also call Venice home. We've been grateful to have been a part of this creative community for over the last four years. While SNAP says they are trying to be a good neighbour by working closely with local schools and non-profits, people like Nancy worry about the impact the company is having on the community. We have the, the street people, the mimes, everything, but we have the art. And I made my little sign. This is like one of the coolest places to me I've lived in. And like, I don't want to see it destroyed by corporate greed. I don't want to see this place change because I felt like hell to get here. But could Snap Inc. be about to disappear from Venice? The company told Yo Venice, no one could have anticipated how quickly we've grown and we have already begun focusing our future growth outside of Venice.